So we're going to fill in the colors for this particular drawing right here in the way that MATLAB would do it. So we're going to start off with um, a coordinate system that starts up here at the upper left corner. So it turns out that MATLAB starts its images in the upper left corner, as opposed to how we normally do figures where it starts at the bottom left. So here I've labeled the columns as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I've labeled the rows as A, B, C, D, all the way through J, uh, just to make it easier to talk about them. But in MATLAB, we would see this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. across, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. downwards, always starting with the first pixel, the first piece of the image up here in the upper left corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to go layer by layer and draw in or color in the color blocks or the color pixels. So in this case, what we have is uh, a 10 by 10 series of blocks, and we're going to try and match them um, pixel by pixel. So what we're going to start off with is defining the top up here as blue, because it's blue sky, we'll say. Down here, it'll be green. And then we're going to make a, um, a monster right here uh, colored as red. Its body will be red colored. All right. Now, the way that uh, MATLAB works is that it has it defines colors in three layers as red, green, and blue. And red is the first layer. Green is going to be the second layer and blue is going to be the third layer. So what we're going to do is, for the most part, color in the blocks is completely one color or another, and we're going to mix in a little bit inside of um, this little monster and maybe some shadows or something like that. We'll see how we go along. So we're going to start off with red, and um, we'll imagine for a moment that um, we're starting to do the coloring here at the very first pixel and i said that the sky was going to be blue so there's going to be no red here no red there no red there no red there we're going to go by row so none there none there none 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 we go to the next row none 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 it's tedious but that's why we do this with a computer again the next row uh, row c or the third row one two yeah, there's a little bit here um, because we've got a little bit of red inside of uh, this monster right here. So for the sake of argument, we're going to fill in a little bit of red. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of um, uh, detail that we can provide inside of each pixel because you can only choose one color inside of the pixel. So it's going to be kind of blocky like. So that one will have a little bit of red. This one right here is going to have a little bit of red. Like that. And so is this one because it's got a little bit of an ear here. Okay, so we got some red there. Now there's not much here, so we'll say the majority of this particular pixel is non-red or non-blue. Well, it'll be blue, um, but no red, no red, no red, etc. We go back to this row here. None. And then here, yep, there's going to be some red in here. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. And we'll imagine that there's not enough red in the next pixel. So nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Oh, absolutely here. There's going to be some red. And some red in the next pixel over. And some red in the next pixel over. And some here. And some there. And this one looks like it's about half and half. So yeah, we'll have some red in this one. Um, in this one, yeah, we'll say, we'll say there's no red in this one. There's not enough. Oh, sorry, that was a mistake. That is a mistake right there. My apologies. I shouldn't have put red in there. I was too enthusiastic. Unfortunately, I can't erase it right now. Uh, so, no, I don't have an eraser. Wouldn't you know it, I found an eraser. Here we go. Let's see if this will work. So 
I'm going to reset that pixel. All right, so let's continue. No red there. I'm going to go here. Yep, there's some red in here. Some red there. Some red there. And there. And there. So you can see this process is pretty repetitive. Uh, this one here, yeah, there's a majority of red. So fill in the whole pixel. And we'll say this one too. A little judgment call on this one. Okay, so we're going on to the next one, next row. So this is G1, G2, uh, G3, not enough. G4, absolutely. G5, G6, G7, G8. Not enough in G9, nothing in G10. H1, not enough. H2, not enough. Uh, H3, no. H4, we'll say yes. H5, ooh, maybe a little bit. H6. H7, uh, yeah. H8 and H9. H10, no. I1, no. I2, no. I3, no. I4, yes. I5, yeah, we'll say yes. I6, yes. I7, yes. I8, yes. I9, yeah, we'll say yes. And then nothing after that. Okay, so there we filled in most of the, well, all the red. Nothing in J, nothing up here. So we've got basically our red covered. So there's no red defined in here, no red defined in there. We've got some red in here as well. Okay, so basically red in these rows would and, and over in this patch over here and down here would be equal to zero and the red in here would be some higher value say 240 or 250 or 200 something along those lines okay next we're doing rgb so g is green and we're going to imagine that there's no green so zero green in the first row second row third row fourth row etc but as we get down to the bottom here um, what we're finding is that there's going to be some green being reflected off of the grass that's going to appear on the bottom here on the bottom of this monster. So we're going to have some reflected green light and we're going to imagine that it affects the head here and the body down here. So I'm going to put in a little bit of green. So there's going to be some green, not a lot, just a little bit in this one and some green in that one. And we're going to imagine that in here, there's actually some grass that's showing. So this is G3. G4 has got a little reflected green. You can see that it sort of darkens the red as well. A little bit of green here. A little bit of green in here. A little bit of green in this one, in this pixel right here. Okay, so we're up to G7, G8. A little bit of reflected green off of the grass that'll be down below. We finish up, uh, there'll be some grass over here. So no, not much red or no red, just some grass. And then there's gonna be some grass showing over here. Okay, so we've got that row right there. Next, we're gonna go with H and H has got some grass in it. H1, now H2 has some grass. H3 has some grass, 
And then we have some reflected green in H4 that sort of um, pollutes the red. Same thing with H5, H6, H7, H8, H9, and 10. All right, so there we go. So we've now done row H, which in MATLAB terms would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It would be row 8. So row H would be row H, or would be row 8 in MATLAB. Next, we're going to do row I. That would be row 9 in MATLAB. There's going to be some grass here. So I1, I2, I3. And then the red's going to be darkened in by a little bit of green as well in I4, I5, F, uh, yeah, I5, I6, I7, I8, I9, I10. Okay. Next up, we've got J1, and there's still some grass in here. J2. J3. J4. J5, J6. J7. J8, J9, and then J10. All right, there we are. Okay, so that was red, then green. Now we're going to do blue. Okay, so again, where do we start? We start at the upper left corner. The upper left corner is row A or row 1 and column 1. So we're going to start here. We have a blue sky. We're going to put in some blue. First pixel, second pixel, third pixel, fourth pixel, fifth pixel, sixth pixel, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. We now have 10 pixels. That's the sky, or the beginning of the sky. Now we go to the second row, row 2 or row B. First pixel, second pixel, third pixel. So B4, B5, B6, B7, B8, B9, B10. My hand's starting to get a uh, little tired here. So we've got B10. So row 10 up to column, sorry, row 2 up to column 10. We're now to row 3 or row C. First pixel, so C1, C2, uh, we will say that there's a mixture of blue in here as well, a little bit of a mixture of blue with the red here, a little blue, a bit of blue in there, all right, and we got some blue here, we just still have some sky, a little bit of sky here. Okay, so row three or row C, column nine, row C, column 10. We're now, if you remember, we're on our third depth of the three-dimensional matrix. So now we're going to go to the next row, row D or row four, and column one. We'll add a little bit of blue right here. Fill that in completely. 
No blue, no blue, no blue, no blue. We'll put in some blue here. Blue here. Blue there. Blue there. All right. Next, we go to the next row right here. There's E. No blue, no blue, no blue, no blue, no blue, no blue. Oh, no, we're going to have some blue in here. A little bit of blue, a little bit of a blue influence. More pure blue there. Pure blue there. And pure blue there. Uh, from there, row F, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Row 6, row F, there's going to be, oops, a little bit of blue there. None there, none there, and a little bit of blue over here. A little bit of an influence, and a little bit of an influence there. Okay. After that, we hit green and red, green and red, green and red, but not really any blue because it's not the sky. We have some green grass, we have a red monster, and, uh, and we don't have a whole lot of blue down here, so we're going to say there's no blue down below. Okay. And there you have it. We've now done R, G, and B coloring with our fancy dancy pencil crayons and a grid array matrix for the image that you see on the screen.